All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to go over the Acro Rip settings once and for all. You're going to click File, hit Open, upload your image. Now, if your image is not a PNG, PNG, transparent background, you guys see that this has a square around it. It's going to print white all along the back of all of this, okay? As opposed to printing on just the back of the letters, okay? Keep that in mind that if you're printing a JPEG, it's going to waste a lot of ink. It's not going to um, just do letters if that's what you're looking for. It's going to do the entire square. So, you need a PNG. But the customer wanted the entire square. Bear in mind that if you have this blank, sorry, this blank space here, your printer will act like it's printing that and look like it's printing nothing all the way until it gets to the color area, okay? So if you want to avoid that, upload it into your program that you use to create and make sure that the exact PNG export canvas is the exact size of the image um, so that way you don't have any issues okay let's just say this image is perfect and what we want you want to make sure over to the left that your template under view template that your template matches the paper size that you are using okay as you see then under layout you want to make sure that you have the exact paper size you are using here this is the size of the image if you take note when I raise it or lower it it changes the size you want to make sure that the size of your image including the dead space so all that that the blue is circling is within your sheet size. If this is like this, it will print onto a second sheet, okay? With the XP, <coughs> since there is no front roller, on a 16 and a half sheet, you can't print any lower than about that. Otherwise, it'll smear the bottom because there's it, there's nothing to keep pushing the paper so that it'll print. So you want to end it about two inches before the paper actually ends, okay? I usually just uh, bring it all the way to the top. You want to right-click your image and mirror it, okay? Printer, you want to choose your Photo XP. On the port, you want to choose your printer. Check paper size off. I do the resolution for white at 1440 by 1440. The color, people recommend 1440 by 720, but I leave them both like this. I have yet to test both of them side by side, but I'll, that'll be another video. As well as the dot size, I have it in, on mix. I will be comparing what the difference is between all of them in a later date and time. You want a uh, wave on that will avoid any of the streaking on your sheet. It'll spread a little more uh, inks. And by direction on, okay? On your color management screen, you want to ensure your ink channels are cyan, white, white, yellow, magenta, black. You replace the gray cartridge and the red cartridge with white. You don't replace it, you fill it. There is no white cartridge for it, so you will have to fill the gray one and the red one with white. And this will be your sequence. I'll come over here and show you. Cyan, white white yellow magenta black okay the gray and red have been filled with white 
Now, in order for all of this to work, you're going to need to have your system on a chipless firmware, unless you buy s some <coughs> some crazy mix. You found cartridges that actually have reset chips. I've yet to find them, but if you found them, then you don't need to do the chipless firmware. Anyway, on the white panel, you want to do 100% white under any color pixel. And that is to cover the entire image. You can change it up and do gradient, but remember it won't have the full white on the entire image. Once you get more familiar with your settings and how it works, then you'll want to play with the white ink and use it as you need it. Okay, uh, I don't mess with any of these settings. Some people decrease it uh, by five pixels, anywhere between two and five pixels. I leave it alone. My inks on the XP 15,000 are set to 35 and 75 for the white. When I had 45 white and 50 white, um, it was burning during the cure process. So I lowered the color and raised the white and I was able to cure it. No problem. 325 for 180 seconds. Okay, once you've done that and you got all your printer settings done, you'll want to hit print. If for whatever reason you're having paper issues like size, you want to make sure that this is exactly what this says. You'll go to paper revision or printout size revision over here and just make sure. One time I changed those settings and everything was crazy. So you'll need to print. You'll want to make sure color settings and white color each have a one. If this is blacked out and you can't move it, you'll have to untick this one, tick it back on, and click the white color again and print color first. They both have to be ticked. There has to be a one and a one. Make sure before you print that all your settings are correct and hit print. Depending on the speed of your computer and how old or new it is and the processor, it's how fast this thing will send to your PC. The older the PC model, the slower it'll be to uh, computing to your printer. Now guys, I have not done the maintenance, the morning maintenance on the XP but this is to show you settings i'm reusing a paper that i've been using just to avoid spending more film because i have literally spent lots of film on testing i mean lots maintenance is required here and there to clean those the more buildup you get, the back of your film will start to get nasty. So make sure that you save a, a day or two out of the week to do a tedious maintenance if you want to keep your printer in tip-top shape. Some people do it once a week, some once a month, some don't do it at all. But I found that this ink um, becomes like a plastic sort of kind of and I refuse to have to scrub it, so I will do it once a week, and if I need to, twice a week. We'll see. Alright, I've changed the sheet to a brand new sheet. Oh, wait. Oh, it's going to print. Alright, so if you take note, it's printing the dead space. You're not going to see it print any color or anything. Okay, so if you see it doing that, take note onto your screen to see if there's any dead space 
on the image. Now it's actually printing the image. I have not done the maintenance on the printer yet. I just decided let me do the settings and print and it'll push out the white and any other color I may need. Well, it's working pretty good for it not having any cleanings. 